Hi guys, welcome back to another awesome LEGO video. It's HJT Productions here, and today I have a mock to show you guys. Now, this is my WandaVision set idea. So, the thing with WandaVision is really tricky because it's always changing decades, and LEGO doesn't want to make a set of the house and then have all the different things to swap out in it because that's just gonna you're going to be talking 300 quid with that. So I thought, what's a good little set? Because I think $20 is quite good. Maybe two figures. And this is what I've come up with. Bear in mind, I've kind of just done this over a weekend. Um, but yeah, and I've... <laughs> I'm not very good with drawing figures, okay? Give me a break. So I edited the figures in PowerPoint. I know, right? And I made the box art in PowerPoint. But yeah skip past that because there's never been a one division set before it's not like star wars where you can like make a new logo on top of star wars you have to create a brand new box up but yeah so let's get into things but first before we get there make sure to smash that subscribe button because 98 percent of you guys are not subscribed that's just crazy so hit that subscribe subscribe button it's one click that's all you gotta do and while you're doing that why don't you go check out my instagram after you've watched this video of course Right, let's get into things. Also give this video a like. This is the set. There it is, straight off. This is my WandaVision set. So what you've got here is, it's Agatha's Lair. Now, because you know how some people get, they think, oh, because it's a set number, it must be real. So I just made up a crazy set number. So, HAT production sets are going to be 90000. And then number so we've got one because there's some more coming but yeah i made agatha's lair i think it's the perfect little 20 dollar set that we need comes with two figures wanda and agatha uh, you also get senior scratchy and a few little creatures but we'll get into that um but yeah so here's an overview of it um now i don't know if i did this on the set but i just sort of edited these letters on i kind of just came up with some letters because I couldn't see them exactly in the show. The one I only saw was M, could be for Magneto or Mephisto, but yeah, I'm not getting into one division here. I'm just getting into my Lego set. Um, but yeah, so as you can see, we've got Agatha's desk here, um, and you've also got a small chest of drawers on the other side. You have a candle with a purple flame, and there's a little skull hidden in there. Also on this side, we have a cabinet that's briefly seen. And I kind of went with all these vines drooping down, similar to what you get in the upside down set. There's also a rat under here, and in the lair there's lots of purple sort of beams of light dotted around. So I used these transparent one by one tiles, and I also gave these guys some sort of power pieces. And it contains 200 pieces exactly, and yeah, for the box art, just got the Lego logo up there, You've got the WandaVision logo here. It's seven and up. I got the title. Got the figures down at the bottom. Um, you've got. Uh, I was struggling to choose what logo for this because, um, basically you don't really know what to do with this. Um, but yeah, so here's the set a bit closer. So I made this in Lego Digital Designer. So as you can see, none of the prints are on here, um, because I kind of edited that with the box art. Um. But yeah, so you can just sort of see how it's, and I didn't Photoshop it completely down because I wanted to leave um, an outline for it. But yeah, I just found this background on Google, just sort of searched up purple background, and then just cut out the background for it, and then put the set on top. Um, but yeah, so this is the set as a whole. And let's move on to the next section, which is the figures. So as you can see here, the figures, if we go back aside, um, the figures here aren't the same as the next ones because these pieces weren't available in the printed version of Digital Design, which is where I made the designs. But yeah, so as you can see, we've got Wanda here, and I edited on her stripes underneath, and I made a zipper because this was just a plain red torso. I also edited in Agatha's purple eyes here and her amulet. 
and yeah, because these would just plain the colour that they are. So this bit here, um, this bit there, and all of this has been edited on. Um, but yeah, so that was relatively easy to do. Next up, we got Senior Scratchy here. As you can see, it's just plain edited on. Um, but yeah, so this is a very simple design. And then we have a play lever here. So you can basically push down on this. And if we go back a bit, this whole section here will blow off, which I know doesn't happen in the show. Oh, yeah, spoiler alert, by the way, um, which doesn't happen in the show. But it's the sort of thing Lego would do. Like, also, Wanda doesn't use her powers because of the curse and stuff. So that Lego just likes to chuck these random things in there for fun. Um, and then you get to, you can go underneath and like you can see there's a rat there, a place where the stairs come down. Because I, what I was thinking about doing, but I decided not to in the end because I thought it would just look a bit weird. Is at the end of the episode where Agatha's lair is first introduced. Um, there's a place where Monica opens up and there's some stairs going down. So a, not, a thing I could have done would be to add that on top, but I don't think it would have worked. But yeah, so that was something I thought about doing. Uh, but continuing on, so you can explore the nooks and crannies of Agatha's lair. And there you can see in detail that bit there. I used the more friend style piece because um, I just thought that worked really well there. And I was trying to be realistic with this set, with this set because I'm not the sort of person who creates things too, up, too off. That's why I made this blue not a custom color because and that red it's just like choosing things that lego would do um yeah uh so this big announcement here this is part of three wonder vision sets and there's going to be two more on the way so yeah it's a bit of an announcement there so we've got two more wonder vision custom mock sets coming from me um if you guys would like as well I could make instructions for these. I don't know if there's enough demand, I will. Um, but yeah, so this set features two figures and four animal figures, which is Senior Scratchy, two spiders and a rat. Um, and the two regular figures are Wanda and Agatha. It has 200 pieces and would retail for $20 or £18. Um, but yeah, so there's two more on the way. Um, I'll give you the price range for them. So one's going to be a I think I decided on it being $30, and then I've got a $40 or $50 set, which will be coming sooner than the $30 one. Um, but yes, I'm already working on the $40 to $50, which is very exciting. It's very, it's a very interesting build. I don't think anyone's tried to do it before. But yeah, so that should be really cool. Um, and yeah, I think apart from uh, Bruz Brick here, he's amazing on Instagram. Uh, it's like little accessory packs. I don't think anyone's actually been making a set for one division, so yeah, I think this might be the first. But yeah, so make sure you guys to like this video. Comment down below your thoughts on one division, the TV show itself, and the set. I know at first it was really weird, but you do have to stick with it. Um, yeah, it's a very good TV show. I can't wait for the finale coming up soon. If it's two hours, like I've heard some rumors saying, then we are in for a treat, guys. And yeah, let me know your thoughts on the set. Do you like it? Do you think it looks cool? Uh, are there any improvements you would make? I know my editing isn't the best, but I can't help that. Um, yeah, it's just sort of, I'm not very good at editing. Um, and the reason why I don't use mecha bricks is because a thought popped into my head. Is I tried it several times and I can't get a colour palette up. It just crashes on me every time. But yeah, so that's why I don't use mecha bricks. Stud.io is harder to use than LDD as well. But yeah. And hit that subscribe button, guys, because 98% of you are not subscribed. But yeah, that's it for today's video, guys. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Also, check out my Instagram, because all my Instagram followers got to hear about this set early. Uh, yeah, I've been teasing it, uh, I think, since Friday. Just done teasers now and then. And yes, yeah, so you get lots of exclusive content like that. Also, if you guys want to shoot me a DM, tell, giving me suggestions for things to do, I'm always open to that. 
Right guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!